Okay, welcome to ETN News. We're looking at the earthquakes first, and then we'll discuss something else about what's going on with their weather and stuff. Okay, let's look at Hawaii. Hawaii looks pretty normal right now, except for two or well, three quakes, actually, that's not down in the chambers. The rest of these are in the chambers. 2.0, 2.4 miles deep, northeast of Pahala, and... Down here is Pahala, so, you know, that's pretty good ways. And a 2.3, 0 0.4 miles deep. So that's next to the top. Something's cracking next to the top. And then we got this one over here, 1.9, 3.5 miles deep. That's pretty normal because, you know, it's got to go through the side of the volcano. But these two here, they're not normal. They're close to the surface. And Alaska, northern Alaska, 3.2. And then we got one on the west side, 3.0, 4.8 miles deep. And then two down here, 4.5, 3.0, I mean 35.8 miles deep. And a 4.2, 25.7 miles deep. West, southwest of Falls Pass. So these is right out from there, 3.6, 5.8 miles deep. You're increasing on activity and the 2.5s and greater. Increasing on those than what you normally have around Anchorage and places. Okay, let's go over here and look at the next, next one. Mount Angel Fault. It's a 1.9 and near Silverton, Oregon. 12.1 miles deep. You know, it's just where the quake is. I wouldn't report it because it's a small, but, you know, it's where the quakes locate. We gotta watch that area. Had a lot of heat coming up out of that area, and it's not all fires either. Okay, so we gotta watch it. Just had a 1.9 south of Kingston, Nevada. All right, now down here, Little Lake. Now we got a swarm around Sun Valley. And let me click on it here. Reno, north northeast of Reno. Got a swarm going on there. And here is Little Lake. Got a swarm going on there. And the thing about this is we're having four shocks. Here's our earthquakes. Now, we had a 2.1, and then we had a 3.1. And then you go on up, and then it goes, you know, 2.9. That would be aftershocks. But that was a 3.1 now. Then we had a 3.2 after that. And then we had another 2.9 and 1.2, but this was a four shock. So we've got to watch it around Little Lakes. That's uh, east of Little Lake. Pretty good ways from there. And let's go back to earthquakes and check this out. We had this earthquake on the new major seismic zone. 3.8. That is 7.2 miles deep in Arkansas. I'll Zoom in and let you see where that's located. You're going to see some white flashes here. Well, let's look at this first, the hazard area. Okay, it's right in the hazard area. The new major seismic zone. Now let's zoom in. Okay, you got Little River and Caraway. And down here, ever how that's pronounced, but it's in between Little River and Caraway. All right, now that's the new major seismic zone. What did we talk about the other day when we saw them beams and hot spots over in Missouri? I think it was yesterday. Might we should see earthquake activity? Well, we got it. Now, let's look at this over here. Over here, 
where this is pushing against this, you know, you can see where it's building and when it does slip, it would throw something like a 7.2 earthquake, east coast. When it does, that, that's what it'll, you know, it'll throw something like that. Now, here's what we're going to look at on the east coast. Let me zoom in here. We're going to go back uh, seven days on the earthquakes. All right, we had this one here. Now, this is after we talked about that 7.2. We've been talking about it for a while, you know, a month or so. But it will happen one day. I just can't put a time on it. But anyway, here's Concord. We had the 2.7, 3.1 miles deep. Yesterday evening, we had a 2.3 east of Rockport, Massachusetts, 5.7 miles deep. Now, we didn't start seeing this activity, and you know that you haven't until after we talked about this pushing Pacific Ridge pushing Mid-Atlantic Ridge pushing on the plates you know the tech I mean the uh, continents and if you when it's pushing it causes sea mounts to pop up and we got pressure building through here and when it does release I'd say a 7.2 my guess. Just saying. Now let's go look at something else. But I'll just be prepared for that. One day it will happen. I just don't can't put a time on when it's going to slip. All I know is it's building. Well, this is what Canada is reporting, and not much at all. Reported shaking near Rogers City, Michigan. And a 2.5 and a 2.1. But we got this line going right down, looks like it's going right into Hepgen Lakes near that area on the other side of Wyoming, still on the Yellowstone super volcano. Now let's go check out what I was talking about the weather and stuff. Now let's talk about what's causing or whether to just flip out and go crazy. All right, let's start off with this. Shade balls. What's shade balls used for? They are used to put in reservoirs and lakes to keep their water from evaporating from the lakes. And they are in so many, you just, um, it's unbelievable. Now, one spot stopped doing it, but most of them are still doing it. Now, what happens when you keep the dew down from rising up into the sky and making clouds? The next state doesn't get rain. It's not like it's supposed to be. It changes the weather. That's man changing that part. Now, look this up. Do me a favor and pause it. Look this up. And then click on images at the top. When you click, you know, when that pops up and all those links go down through there, click on images at the top. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Then when you get back, you can look at cloud seeding. Type it in. When you get to it, click on images. And then, you know, there's one image that's got what it looks like from the ground. When you're looking from the ground of cloud seeding, it shows the jets going across the planes putting it out and then you got on top of that cloud seeding now cloud seeding when you see clouds you can read what this says when you type it up you know i can't show you the pictures because they'll get me for copyright that saves a lot of stuff from getting out to the public but we can do this you know with you working with me look up cloud seeding type it in on your search bar but it cloud seeding, you know, when they take it take away the rain, what they do is they add aerosols, and when it does that, it causes it to form into ice crystals and makes it heavy and makes it fall before the time that it's supposed to really fall. So when it falls here in this state, what about this state? What about this state? They don't get what they need, so. 
we got this here shade balls they they're shading the lakes and things and the dams when they dam up the water that's also messing with it but these here they won't let the water evaporate way you know so if the, if it don't do that it can't go into the sky and it can't make clouds and the next state is in a drought well that's going to cause everything to heat up on the earth and that's where it comes in at the end of what all this is causing when you got this cloud seeding you know it here's what it's uh well it's not going to tell what it's called what the stuff is called there probably get me for a copyright for that popping up <laughs> yeah but whatever, whatever what happens there okay let's go and look at this here and I'll see if I can find this here oh yeah solar panel farms in Washington state just Washington just check out one state like Washington or Oregon or anywhere but check out Washington when you click on images it will show you the solar panel farms and like one the largest one in Washington state of Washington is 1,800 acres of nothing but one big plate of solar panels solar panel farm that's in Click Attack County, Washington. Okay, now what does all this cause? When you're reflecting the sun back to itself, not just the state of Washington, about every state, just about it now, and every country. So when the whole earth is reflecting itself back to the sun, how can the sun still stand? That would be impossible. So, our sun is going to go, and there's nothing we can do about that. And here's the fire map. Here's the anomalies. These will move across. If you don't believe it, you watch the fire map yourself, and you will see yourself. I'm not here to spread lies or anything. And the only reason you're seeing gaps in these are storms. It'll tell you on the map when the storms come over that you'll see gaps in that. And like this here, this is NASA. This is their part of showing anomalies. And there's one over here, but it's the same thing. But that's NASA showing that. And it says thermal anomalies, fires and thermal anomalies. Well, this is the thermal anomaly. Thermal, that means hot. Okay, you know, that's up to you on that, but you, you can see what the solar panels, uh, you know, don't have to have a few. But if you look at Washington State, where well, well, the farm, where well, they haven't got a farm, they got hundreds and hundreds of houses covered with solar panels. But it's not the people's fault or anything. It's, it's these big farms. I mean, if you just had it on houses, a little bit here and there, it wouldn't hurt that much. But it's destroying our planet. And you got to see that. I mean, how could you not see it? How could anyone not see it? You know, I know a lot of you do see it. But how could uh, anyone not see it? It's right in front of our face. There's no way of getting away from that. You look that stuff up. Shade balls, cloud seeding, and solar panels. And click on the images at the top. You will be surprised at what you see. And I'll see you on the next updates. Everybody stay safe. And we'll be watching.